What's up, the foreign boy gang? You already know how it is. You already know how we coming. Before we even get into this video, you already know what I need y'all to do. I need y'all to like, I need y'all to comment, and I need y'all to hit that subscribe button if y'all want to be a part of the foreign boy gang. And if you're already a part of the foreign boy gang, then why go on my YouTube done no. So today, hey, today, hey, today, 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 hey, today, hey, today, hey, today, today, today. So today, I'm about to teach y'all how to record on your iPhone 11 Pro Max or lower. As y'all know, I have been on YouTube for a year now, and I have learned the ends and the ends of tricks on YouTube on when it comes to recording a video on my iPhone. Um, as y'all know, I recently got the iPhone 11 Pro Max in, I believe, December, and before I had the 8 Plus, so <laughs> I've had my tricks and trades. So I basically know what I'm doing when it comes to this recording on the iPhone stuff. I'm not a pro, I'm not a genius. But these are just my tips and tricks that I use when it came to recording on my iPhones. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. So before the ring light and you know the lighting and all the tripods come into place, you want to make sure you have some good quality because quality is key on YouTube. Quality is very much so key on YouTube. So what you want to do is you can go to your settings. Um, type in camera or go to the camera um, I'll have the screen record over here and basically click um, record video um, I record 1080p at 60 frames per second it's basically a basic like detailed video like it gets all of this in there the definition of some good quality because obviously you don't want to you know if you don't have no ring light or nothing you still want to make sure that your video is at the highest quality it can be so you know you don't have to rely on your ring light all the time or if you don't have one you know oh i don't have one i have to make sure you know i have the best quality i can since i don't have a ring light so obviously you know make sure your quality is a one on your video so they be like oh his lighting is a little shabby but his quality of the video is it's, it's good though, it's good though. So you wanna make sure you, you know, have that. Um, I did not find out about like the, how you can change your quality and stuff in your videos until maybe, I wanna say my fourth month on YouTube. So I took this tips and tricks and you know, I just flipped it around and used it for myself. You can use 4K, I believe, um, on the lower iPhones. It, I think it only goes up to 1080p um, at 60 frames per second or I believe 4K, I don't remember, but I believe it's around those that it goes up to when it comes to, you know, the quality of your video. So before you even click that red button on that iPhone to even touch or record a video, you need to make sure you have an A1 setup, just like you need to make sure you have A1 quality because you want your video to come out looking nice for your subscriber. So basically, yeah, an A1 setup is perfect for, it's a key to a good video. A1 setup, A1 YouTube video. Obviously your content has to be good as well. But you know, good setup, good video, boom, right there. So as y'all know, my setup is not really that big of a deal. I have a ring light and the ring light comes with like a tripod thing and a phone clip. And I have a tripod over there um, for videos when I'm filming over the house, like when I did my morning routine. I use that, but the tripod I got is from an old ring light that I use, and then the phone clip. But if you don't have access to all of that, um, if you're on a budget like I was, um, you can always go to Amazon or Walmart. Y'all know, y'all know, Amazon is A1 when it comes to the equipment for YouTube because I bought so much equipment on Amazon that it is amazing for YouTube. Um, I know a lot of people say, oh, I get my camera from Amazon. Amazon is key, and Amazon has best, like the best prices for certain cameras and all of that. Obviously, I'm teaching you how to use your iPhone as a camera, so you don't have to buy a camera as of right now. You can't afford it. Because when I first started, I was like, mm, I need a camera before I even start. Because I tried to start a YouTube channel in 2016, and I was going to record on my phone, but I was like, no. But 
Amazon is key when it comes to some good YouTube equipment. Um, Walmart is too, but walmart.com. Don't use the app or go to the store. Use walmart.com. Um, they have like $8 and $5 like tripods that you can use. Um, I keep the phone clip just in case, you know, I can screw it onto my vlog stand. Um, I can screw it onto my tripod, but the phone clip comes in handy. And also, Amazon has millions of different tripods. So if you do use your phone to record, make sure you use a phone clip or make sure something, it comes with a phone clip because most tripods are made for cameras that they screw on, not for, you know, YouTubers with phones. So make sure you have the phone clip. Now, if you don't have no money at all, like I was when I started a couple months back and I had no ring light, your boy was uh, flat out uh, broke. I had no money at all. But if you have no money at all, I'm about to teach you this hack that Sean Coleman taught me on Think Media TV. So basically what you get is, you know, you find you some good lighting. I never had good lighting because I always got home late, but you find you like, it was a really nice day outside. Um, I don't know if it was for you, but it was a nice day outside. So you could have filmed, I could have filmed in natural light, but I decided not to because I am filming this video late as once again, but what you can do is some stack some shoe boxes up by a window or you can stack some shoe boxes up anywhere that has good light like if you have a picture window the light that's coming in basically just lean your phone against and you know record your video because you know you got that a1 setup now or if you film late like i was you can use a lamp i obviously told y'all broke we didn't have any we weren't broke but we didn't have any lamps so i couldn't you know Get a good video with a lamp because we didn't have any um when we did have one it broke don't ask why but it broke um so basically you know get your shoe boxes i use a couple of here make sure you get you some nice tall shoe boxes you know find out where you want to sit you know try to get and then set it lean it against the boxes or lean it against the wall and basically you know start you know your video because you know that's your setup right there. That's your key setup. Like, that's your A1 setup right there. To me, that was an A1 setup. Or I always thought, oh, I had to have the soft box, the ring light, the tripod, all of that. Just make sure you have, you can have them shoe boxes, and them shoe boxes will get you far. Or you can set it on something on top in, in your house. You can film anywhere in your house. Obviously, I have a, uh, a designated background now, so I don't need to film everywhere in my house. But you can film everywhere in your house if you want, wherever it has good light. Hey, the grind don't stop. I ain't judging. So after all of that, you know, it's out the way, the quality, the setup. Now it's time to record your video with your what? With your what? Your iPhone. It don't matter what iPhone you have at this point. You can record as long as it's a 5 or up. You can record on it. The 4 is... Mm, well, they discontinued the four anyway, but it now it's the recording process, the part that you guys have all been waiting for. So there's something called the AE lock when you're recording. You guys don't see it, but when there's good lighting or, you know, basically it's focusing on your face. Um, like if I were to come in, well, you guys won't see it, but I will. It focuses on my face. So, you know, they, they can like see me. Also can turn up the brightness as well. But I don't do that because my ring light gives me, you know, that killer brightness that I need in this video, um, in all my videos, technically. Uh, also, when you're recording a video, please, guys, make sure. If you have an iPhone 11 or above, I recommend you don't record on your back camera. I know a lot of people that say they record on their back camera. I couldn't. It just did not work for me. You can if you want. I feel like the front camera is more reliable to me because obviously people say it's hard to use the front camera because they avoid looking at their cell. Because obviously you guys know when you have an actual camera, it's the lens. And with your phone, it's just a small lens and you see yourself right here. But I used to just look at myself in every video. I used to be like, you know, what's up the foreign boy gang and just look at myself in the video. But make sure you focus on your lens. It doesn't matter where your lens is, but focus on your lens because you don't want to make it look like, oh, I'm not talking to my subscribers. 
you want to make it look like you know i'm engaging with you guys you know i'm giving you these tips because i'm engaging with you guys you know you don't want to just be out here oh he's not even paying attention he's not even looking at the right screen or none of that so you want to make sure you have just make sure you look at the ones because you want to get that you know that nice video and always record on landscape mode i wish people would stop recording portrait mode no because i'm gonna have them two nasty black bars that i don't like and it's gonna make me not watch your video because sometimes they can be distracting and sometimes they can be a little irritating so that's why i always make sure you're filming in cinematic mode and not this way so basically this is how i look at it tiktok youtube tiktok youtube we're not filming a tiktok we're filming a youtube video not a tiktok so make sure that you have you know you're just filming cinematically and not tiktok you know we're not making a tiktok we're making a youtube video so i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and you already know how i do i chuck the deuces